Hello! In this session, we are going to be doing some brilliant letter formation by working on our robot letter family. We will be forming six letters of the robot family. We'll be looking at the letter B, which makes the sound B. The letter M, that makes the sound M. The letter N, which makes the sound N. The letter R, which makes the sound R. The letter H, which makes the sound H. And the letter P, which makes the sound P. The best way to practice your letter formation is to watch each clip and then have a go for yourself after each letter. Before we begin to form our letters, we must make sure that we are sat in the perfect sitting position. Make sure that your feet are flat on the floor and your bottom is sat back in your chair. Have a small gap between you and the table. This should be the size of your fist. Make sure that your paper is wonky and not your body. We cannot do our best writing sat on the floor. And try your best not to cross your legs, as this will make our body wonky. Have a go at sitting in the perfect position before you start to write. Let's start by looking at the letter M that makes the sound M. Mm. Down Maisie, mountain, mountain. Mm. Down Maisie, mountain, mountain. Don't forget your finger space. Down Maisie, mountain, mountain. This letter should stay in between your yellow lines and make sure that you can see Maisie each time. Now let's look at the letter N that makes the sound N. Mm. Down Nobby and over his net. N. Mm. Down Nobby and over his net. Finger space. Down Nobby and over his net. This letter should stay between the two yellow lines and make sure that you can see Nobby every time you form this letter. This is the letter R, which makes the sound R. Down the robot's back and curl over his arm, R. Down the robot's back and curl over his arm. Finger space. Down the robot's back and curl over his arm. This letter should also stay between the two yellow lines and you should be able to see the robot in every letter that you form. Now let's look at the letter B, which makes the sound B. Down the laces, to the heel and round the toes. Down the laces, to the heel, and around the toes. Don't forget your finger space. Down the laces, to the heel, and around the toes. This letter is an ascender, which means we have to start at the top of the line. When you go around the toes, make sure this part stays between the yellow lines. Here's a chance for you to beat the teacher. I don't write left-handed, but for all those children that write with their left hand, here is an example of how we form the letter B. Down the laces, to the heel, and around the toe. B. Down the laces, to the heel, and around the toe. Finger space, and you might like to remove your finger before you form your next letter 
as sometimes this can get in the way. This is the letter H, which makes the sound wah, down the head, to his hooves and over his back. Down the head, to his hooves, and over his back. Finger space. Down the head, to his hooves, and over his back. This letter is also an ascender, which means we have to start at the very top line. When you go over his back, make sure you stay between the yellow lines. Now let's look at our final letter of the robot family, which is the letter P, which makes the sound P, down the pirate's plait and around his face. P, down the pirate's plait and around his face. Finger space. Down the pirate's plait and around his face. This letter is a descender, which means the pirate's plait has to go all the way down to the bottom line. Make sure his face sits in between the two yellow lines. <laughs>